In this video, we're going to talk about starting to learn your spiccato stroke. It's good to start with a slower spiccato because faster spiccato is actually technically a slightly different motion than a slow spiccato is. The first thing I like to have students do is, is to learn how to catch the bow as it bounces. So I get them to do this exercise where they just bounce the bow on the string. With a German bow, you're catching the bow with your thumb. With a French bow, you'd be catching it with your first finger. You need to note that you're absorbing what the bow is giving you back and then throwing it back in its string. It's like bouncing a basketball, basically. If you bounce a basketball, your hand actually catches the ball at the top. You don't just slap the ball towards the ground. Your hand actually has to catch it, absorb the ball coming up, and then throw that energy back down, which is what you need to learn to do here. After the student feels comfortable doing this, I try to get them to bounce as low as they can. And then finally, the last step is just trying to move the bow from left to right. Notice that the motion comes all the way from my shoulder. The entire arm is making this staccato happen. Catching the bow every time it comes up and redirecting the energy back to it. same process. Learn to catch the bow with your first finger. See how low you can make the bounce. And then start going side to side. Notice that the arm is still controlling the motion all the way from the shoulder. Try to do it in the frog. That's how you develop your slow spiccato with the French and the German bows. 